Psalm 72. David speaketh of Solomon, who is made a type of Christ. He shall have dominion, his name shall endure forever, all nations shall call him blessed, the whole earth shall be filled with his glory. A Psalm for Solomon. Give the king thy judgments, O God, and thy righteousness unto, unto the king's son. He shall judge thy people with righteousness, and thy poor with judgment. The mountains shall bring peace to the people, and the little hills by righteousness. He shall judge the poor of the people. He shall save the children of the needy, and shall break in pieces the oppressor. He shall fear thee as long as the sun and moon endure throughout all generations. He shall come down like rain upon the, upon the mown grass, as showers that water the earth. In his days shall the righteous flourish, an abundance of peace so long as the moon endureth. He shall have dominion also from sea to sea, and from the river unto the ends of the earth. They that dwell in the wilderness shall bow before him, and his enemies shall lick the dust. The kings of Tarshish and of the isles shall bring presents. The kings of Sheba and Sheba shall offer gifts. Yea, all kings shall fall down before him, all nations shall, shall serve him. For he shall deliver the needy when he crieth, the poor also, and him that hath no helper. He shall spare the poor and needy, and shall save the souls of the needy. He shall redeem their souls from deceit and violence, and precious shall their blood be in his sight. And he shall live, and to him shall be given of the gold of Sheba. Prayer also shall be made for him continually, and daily shall he be praised. There shall be a handful of corn in the earth upon the top of the mountains, the fruit thereof shall shake like, like Lebanon, and they of the city shall flourish like grass of the earth. His name shall endure forever. His name shall be continued as long as the sun, and men shall be blessed in him. All nations shall call him blessed. Blessed be the Lord God, the God of Israel, who only doth wondrous things, and blessed be his glorious name forever. And let the whole earth be filled with his glory. Amen and amen. The prayers of David, the son of Jesse, are ended. I like this song. Now the heading says that uh, Solomon is a type of Christ. Now, there's nothing directly stated in the psalm to make the case that he is a type of Christ. But... Given the descriptions of all kings bowing down to him and him having dominion over everything from the ends of the earth, it is clear that it is supposed to be a type of Christ, especially with that ending um, calling to the sun. What was it again? Blessed be his glorious name forever. Uh, yeah, blessed be the Lord God, the God of Israel, who only does wondrous things, and blessed be his glorious name forever. So now we have this connection. We start off with Solomon, or the king's son, as I was actually mentioned. Start off with the king's son, and he will rule. And then we end with glory, praise and glory be to the Lord. Bless his glorious name. And so we have this connection being made that the Lord, or Christ, is the king's son that this prayer is being offered to, or offered in behalf of. Now, I will say, I didn't plan this exactly, and I didn't read this in advance, so I didn't know that we had that last verse there. The prayers of David, the son of Jesse, are ended. This is the last of the Psalms of David. And I love that it has that ending. We read this as our last Psalm and it declares that this is the last prayer of David, that his son will be glorified, that his son will receive everything that he lost. And in essence, that's what he is praying. 
And I think it is a fitting ending to all his literary accomplishments, all his literary works. His last prayer, his last song, is for his son. That, I couldn't have planned it better. <laughs>